Trying to invite some people on here right quick. Some people that were chiming in on something I put on the on Facebook. Oh man. Hey right, yo, it's all good, man. I'm about to just go right in. Um <clears throat> so yeah, you know, I posted something on my page. Uh it had to do with um a presidential candidate. Uh what's her name? Uh Kamala, 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 Kalama, Kalama. Uh, what's her name? What's the name, PJ? I, I know you know the name. <laughs> uh, so I posted something on my page earlier. Uh, about, you know, apparently on the Breakfast Club, she came out and said that she had uh, smoked weed and listened to Tupac and Snoop Dogg. Man, when when are we going to stop falling for the okie doke, man? When are we going to stop falling for these people that are trying to pander, pander for our vote? When, when are we going to do that, man? When are we going to stop trying to give these, these people a platform to try to take away our votes and take away any type of agenda that we may try to create because man look for the past shit we ain't had no agenda really since marcus garvey be honest with you we ain't had no agenda since uh malcolm x since i mean i ain't even go throw martin in there because i mean martin was martin but he didn't really have no agenda man these people were pandering and taking money just to try to keep black people quiet because in the 60s Black people were ready to go. Black people had been fighting, killing, came back from the from the Vietnam War. You know what I'm saying? So they had to put a stop to a lot of what we were about. You understand what I'm saying? And that was, you know, any type of strong arm tactics that we may need to use to defend ourselves. But see, what kills me with this pandering thing is that, you know what I'm saying, there, she ain't the only one. You got uh, Cory Booker, man. This dude is a clown. I seen an uh, interview or something he did the other day where he was talking. Somebody asked him about blackface, and he was talking about blackface, and then he tried to switch it up by saying, comparing it to uh, homophobic and being homophobic and something he went through at school, and which lead me to believe that, man, is Cory Booker, is he gay? I'm not saying that that's a problem, but it's just like, look, man, come out if you are. But they keep pandering to us. You understand what I'm saying? They keep pandering to us. They keep throwing these people in front of our faces <clears throat> to see if we're going to take the bait. And many of us are taking the bait. So, like, on my, on my Facebook page earlier, on my Facebook page earlier, I put up that stat about... Her was a Camila Harris. Damn, my throat is <coughs> maybe choking. <coughs> <coughs> About her being in college, and so I looked at the comments. She graduated in college, in like eighty-seven, apparently, and. <coughs> And maybe when she was getting her master, and then they're crying. Maybe she was getting her masters. That's when she was. Is that what we're talking about? She's talking about it happened in college. 
So was she at the same black college getting her master's while smoking weed or a doctorate or whatever she was getting in college, smoking weed, listening to Pac and Snoop? Like, who gives a damn? You understand what I'm saying? Like, that that's a tactic to try to keep us like, oh, she's cool. She hip. She smoked weed and listened to Tupac. Look, man, she she says that she claims that she is of Indian and Jamaican descent. Okay? Let's get this clear, man. You got a lot of uh, people over here, whether it be Haitians, Dominicans, Puerto Ricans. Nigerians, Africans, you have a lot of people over here and they are able to get in these positions to basically tear down black people. For example, I don't know if you know this, but the creator of Love and Hip Hop, she is of, I believe she's Haitian, of Haitian descent or Nigerian descent, I don't know. The creator of World Star, he's dead now, but he was of like Nigerian descent. You understand? So they, they, prop these people up and give them platforms so they can try to tear down black people love and hip-hop and world star have single-handedly disrupted and destroyed a lot of the black people's minds out here and none of, ain't nobody going hard on that i got somebody on here right now pj noble you ain't you ain't commenting you ain't saying nothing right now i want to see if i can bring you on camera because I, I I try to go through your page. I ain't going to lie. I don't know if you are elder. If you are elder, man, it makes sense because a lot of you old niggas, a lot of you old niggas is the problem. B100, a lot of you old niggas is the problem. A lot of you elders, quote unquote, you all don't, don't like to see black people really come up. Y'all like to see black people stay in line. And so, you know what I'm saying? I, I'm, I'm not with none of that shit at all. You understand what I'm saying? This woman was in California putting people behind bars because their kids was truant in high school or schools or whatever. And it's like, man, you willing to put a black woman in jail over because their kids didn't go to school? Man, do you understand? These parents out here, every every parent is not a bad parent. Every parent out here, don't, don't, they have control of their kid. See, this is the thing. <clears throat> kids either do one or two things. Either they act right at school and they wild out at home, or they wild out at home and act right in school. Or they may just be wilding out in both places. But that's not to say that a lot of, that a lot of these women or parents or whoever ain't trying to control their kids. So how are we going to try to vote for someone who is trying to be relatable when they've been putting our people away? You understand what I'm saying? I don't see no cases of her putting white, white kids in jail. They be truant too. They skip school too. You understand what I'm saying? That shit. They'll even go as far as killing you in school. You understand what I'm saying? That's the first thing. Second thing, because I wanna I wanna just keep addressing what I saw in the comments from 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 PJ Noble. All right. PJ Noble says that we are 12% of this country. When are we going to get off of that bullshit? If you think that black people are 12 for do you know how long black people have been the small percentile, quote unquote, of this country? It's been a long ass time. Black people are not 12 percent of this country. If black people are 12 percent of this country, then explain to me how white people are having negative birth rates right now. They're dying off more than they're making babies. And they're to be the minority here in the next 20 years. White people are, are, are going to be extinct in the next 20 years. Someone explain to me that. The, the, the quote-unquote Caucasian is not going to be the same. It's going to be more like Obama's out here. You understand what I'm saying? A white person that's quote-unquote Caucasian, they're going to be a rarity out here. You understand? So how are we 12% of this country? Everywhere you go in this country, you see black people. So we're still 12%? I don't believe that shit. I don't believe none of that shit. I believe that the, the percentages is low, so Negroes will stay in their place. If you knew that it was 25, 35, 45 percent of this country was black, then white folks would not be able to handle that shit. White folks would be somewhere with their guns already loaded like they are now, and they would be trying to go kill black people more than what they're already trying to do. Let's be 100 about this, man. I'm tired of black people on here talking that, that coonery shit, man. I'm tired of that shit. I'm tired of these old ass, elder ass niggas 
Not all of them. Because there's some, there's some good elders out here. There's some good elders. I don't want to take away from the elders out here putting in work. But because you got social media out here, and you able just to get on anybody's page and get to talking shit, really off emotion and not facts, I'm, we ain't going for the dumb shit no more. It's a new day, homie. We ain't going for the new. We ain't going for the dumb shit no more. We going for this new shit. You understand what I'm saying? We are not 12 percent of this country, man. If you believe that we 12 percent of this country, it's something wrong, man. That means you drinking the Kool Aid out here. I don't give a damn what statistics say. Statistics say black people got leading cases of HIV, and then they go to Atlanta automatically. But they don't talk about the high amount of cases of HIV in Europe and over here in this country from, from white people or Caucasians, whatever you want to call them. They don't talk about that in the 80s. In the 80s, the HIV and all that shit, that was, that was coming from Studio 54, which was primarily white. You In this country, you rarely even see posters or any type of anything dealing with white HIV and AIDS cases. They put it all on black people. Like, we come from monkeys, we got injected, we were having sex with monkeys and got AIDS and all. We keep believing the bullshit, yo. We keep going for the bullshit. And and, and I'm going to tell you, a, a nigga like me, I'm not going for that shit. I'm not going for that. I'm not going for that. I believe it's more than 12%. Shit. Before 12%, before 12%, it was like, what, 10%? Before 10%, it was what? Eight percent, man. Look, man. If you really think now, how is it that we twelve percent of this country, but we got more? We got more birth rates up there with Hispanics, and we have more abortions than anybody. You understand what I'm saying? But we make more. We make more. We make almost as much, if not more, kids than Hispanics. Somebody riddle me that shit. I'm tired of this, man. Camila Harris, man. Look, man, nobody is going to vote for that chick that's black, man. And if they do, they confuse, man. No one's going for that shit. No one's going for her. All right? No one's going for her at all. You know what I'm saying? Even black women know that she ain't she ain't about the right. You know what I'm saying? So, no, we're not going for Camila Harris. I don't give a damn about. Look, you got Nigerians. You got different. You got, yeah, Nigeria was 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 Jamaica's. Yeah, these people were, were slaved and enslaved, but they weren't American. I'm talking about American-born descendants of slaves. That's who I'm talking about. That's who I'm talking about. Let's be honest, man. Let's be real. A lot of these Africans come over here. They don't like black people. They've been told not to like black people. Some of them don't like, quote-unquote, African-American people at all. They don't like us. They think we niggas. They got all types of names for us, man. And ain't just niggas it's in their native language. You understand what I'm saying? So let's be 100 about this. A lot of these, a lot of these people come over here, and and and, and they get into these positions of power, and they come and and do us dirty, yo. Just like I told you, love and hip hop creator, man. That chick is like Haitian or Nigerian or something. Dude from World Star that died. He wasn't he wasn't American raised. He wasn't American born. But they get these people platforms, yo. You know what I'm saying? These people have gas stations. These people have banks. These people have resources, man. Stop with the get stop with this shit. Stop it, man. Stop it. I and I haven't seen the Breakfast Club interview, but I know I've seen enough interviews from this lady to tell that they trying to. They trying to make her seem like she's all of a sudden ethnic, ethnocentric, and, and she's a strong black woman and all this other shit. She don't even claim to be black. She don't even claim to be black. But who else Who else they going to put? You know what I mean? They put Obama up there. Obama's not a African-American. He is He is a African, and his, and his parents and his uh, roots, I mean, a European. You know what I'm saying? His father was, was, was African. But he was raised by his grandparents. He wasn't raised by his mama and daddy. You understand what I'm saying? So let's let's stop with the games, man. Let's stop with the games out here. I'm not going for the 12% of this country is black. There's more than 12%. We ain't going for these people trying to pander to black people. 
just so they can get a vote. We really need to think about this shit because, like, black people really be talking like if we ain't voting out here, we ain't getting shit. We ain't getting shit anyway, yo. What are we getting anyway? We ain't getting nothing anyway. What are we getting out here? Other than getting our brains blown out, getting slaughtered in the streets and shit like that. That's all we doing out here. Hold on, sorry. That's all we doing out here. You know what I'm saying? So let's let's stop with the games, man. Let's stop with the games, man. We are not we are not trying to put ourselves in a, in a position of power, man. We want to stay powerless by giving these other people um, our our votes, our platforms, our 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 you know what I'm saying, our intellect, our time. We ain't doing that no more. You know what I'm saying? We ain't doing that. And that's why I say, man, these, these elders, quote unquote, these old niggas out here. Look, man, that's part of the problem. Is that you old niggas is in the way. You ain't letting these young, these youngins, like in my generation, you ain't letting us trying to step up and do nothing. Because a lot of y'all think that we can't do shit because y'all have made us not do shit. Y'all have helped us not do shit. Y'all have kept us in a slave state of mind. And I get it. That's because we're all products of slavery. So when you was growing up as an elder, you was getting some of them slave traits and slave um, customs. And you was getting treated like a slave in your household. So I guess you you wanted to treat your kids in a certain direction like a slave, depending on you. You know what I'm saying? Not being not being ones who are being taught how to be builders and, and, and own things and be our own business and pass down our wealth and all this other stuff. You Negroes are the type of Negroes that would be like, go get it yourself. Well, that ain't how it worked. You all, y'all wanted to assimilate, but y'all didn't want y'all kids to assimilate. That's what I'm saying, man. I don't go for none of that shit. These elders be talking unless they talking some righteous, some righteousness. I don't do that. I do the complete opposite of what these Negroes tell me because the shit ain't been working. You feel me? So, I ain't going for none of that, man. They keep pandering to us. They keep, you got the Gucci. You know what I mean? I seen something about, uh, who was it, man? One of these singers out here, uh, they said, uh, I was looking at the New York Post, New York Times, one of them, and it was talking about how, you know what I mean? I think it was Taylor Swift, man. She had like some, some, some black face shoes or slippers or something, man. They getting real slick with this shit, man. And they putting this shit out there on purpose for us to either react to it or either not react. And a lot of us are not reacting because a lot of us are some coons. You know what I'm saying? You want us, like, I see Negroes on here talking about uh, we should be supporting this woman, Camila Harris. And she, and she up here, bed went to me. She up here got her a white zaddy. Man, you know what that's going to do to the psyche of black people? That's going to have us out here really thinking that for us to make it and be successful, we really have to go get somebody white. We already thinking like that already. But, man, come on, man. Like, they really trying to make this shit. Oh, shit. They really trying to make this shit the norm out here, yo. They trying to make this shit the norm out here. And, yeah, in a perfect world, you can love who you want to love and all this, this, and this. But I'm saying, man, politically, politically, nah, man. Politically, you ain't seeing that. You ain't seeing none of these. You ain't seeing none of these politicians, white politicians with a black woman. You do got one in, in I think, what, he in New York, New Jersey or something like that. And they don't give him a lot of publicity. They don't talk about what kind of, you know what I'm saying, what kind of man he is with this black wife and these biracial kids. I don't even know if this woman has kids. I've seen no nothing of her having kids at all. You understand what I'm saying? So <clears throat> let's be 100 with this, man. I don't even see nobody even dropping comments on here, though, yo. I don't see nobody that was just on my page. You know what I mean? You know, going back and forth, I'm a, I'm a wave to the people. But I don't see none of that. I don't see none of nobody even dropping comments, man. Drop comments up in here, man. You know what I'm saying? Talk about some of this stuff going on right now. Like I said on my page, I posted up a picture picture of uh Camila, Camila Harris. And it said on, I guess she was on the Breakfast Club talking about how she was in college and she was smoking weed and listening to Tupac and Biggie. Or Tupac and Snoop. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, why you you just look, man. They were getting that Bill Clinton when they when he said he he allegedly smoked weed and didn't inhale. But this woman gets on on, on the Breakfast Club talking about she went to college and was listening to Tupac and, and, and Snoop 
Man, that shit, first of all, that shit came out like in 96, man, 95. So where was you at in school then? Then on top of that, you know what I'm saying? Like, why ain't no other politician getting at her about that? Why, why, why ain't nobody discrediting to her because she smoked weed at that time? You understand what I'm saying? This woman, this woman is 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 a prop that they're propping up, and they want us to try to embrace this and embrace her, man. Ain't nobody embracing that no more, man. More people died under Obama, black, than any other president in the past 15, 20, except for Clinton. Clinton's the one that put the most black people in prison. Black people died underneath Obama. Obama never came out and condemned none of this shit. Instead, he came and told black people, we need to pull ourselves up type shit. He didn't do shit for us, man. The only thing he did was do something for immigrants and the LBGTQ community. Put something in place, laws. He didn't do none of that shit for black people. My brother's keeper, nigga, I could start my brother's keeper, my nigga. I could start that. Let's be 100 with this shit, man. I'm tired of this shit. I'm tired of this shit on Facebook, man. People behind it. And I don't know. Some of these people could be trolls, man. Some of these people could be white people that are coming under, you know what I'm saying, under someone else's profile, page and shit. What up, sis? I'm just tired of that, man. I'm tired of this shit, man. I'm tired of it, man. We got to start trying to think about what we need to do collectively. If you listen to, you know what I mean, brothers like, you know, Tariq Nasheed, um, the Black Authority, you know, they got a, they got an agenda around here right now. It's floating on the social media. It's an agenda. It's just like the first beginning parts of the Black agenda. We don't have a Black agenda that we've ever collectively presented in front of any type of politician. And it's like, man, if we're going to do this, man, we need to start doing this independent shit, man. We need to stop relying on a Republican or a Democrat because they both the same shit, yo. They the same shit. They take oaths to keep us at a certain level all the time. We need to raise up off that, man, and start doing something different out here, man. These people don't take us serious out here. They don't take us serious. They never have taken black people serious out here in this country because we got these Negroes out here that are trying to continuously keep us at a bad space Politically, spiritually, economically, at any ickly on that shit. You understand what I'm saying? It's bullshit, man. Hey, El Chapo, El, El Chapo got found guilty on 10 counts, man. I just wanted to say that. El Chapo. El Chapo got on, on, on one of these news feeds on something and said about this wall being built. It's the dumbest shit ever. It's the dumbest shit ever, man. They may cut my connection right now. I don't give a damn. A wall ain't about to stop no Hispanic, Mexican, drugs, none of that shit. A wall ain't about to do that because they have underground tunnels. They have underground tunnels all through them. The border you know what i'm saying hundreds of tunnels how do you think el chapo escaped from prison like twice in mexico because he was going underground ain't no wall about to stop that shit yo they using drones all that shit to try to get that shit over here me you understand what i'm saying so, man, don't fall for the okie doke on El Chapo. You know what I'm saying? Even if he go to jail forever, he still, what is that going to stop? You know what I'm saying? They ain't going to stop shit. Chicago, man, Chicago's corrupt, man. I get anybody that keep talking about black on black crime and they mention Chicago, that's some cold language, man. That's some cold talk. That's cold talk. If you really pay attention out here, yeah, black people are still killing each other off, man. But at the at the end of the day, man, we still, we still, if you look at us statistically, yeah, 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 they've been using tunnels forever. If you look at us statistically, you know what I mean? Black murders are down. 
You know, they, they paint this picture like we killing each other off every single day. And yeah, that might be a, 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 um, a fact to a degree, but all, all other ethnicities kill each other just as more. I want y'all to really pay attention to what's going on on the social media, man. You got a group out here right now on the social media on Facebook called um, Trash Talk USA. Trash Talk USA. I don't know how I got in this group. I see other people posting on there. They don't know how they got in the group. You know what I'm saying? It could be from someone they mentioned or someone that you know that uh, put you on this group. But y'all need to be going and checking out this group. This group that they have on, on Facebook. It's a group that is pandering to trying to troll and trying to get people to, especially black, they're trying to get us off code. And they're trying to get us on there to talk crazy, to get, you know, racial. And, and people are posting things on this site every single day that's dangerous, man. Dangerous shit. You know what I'm saying? Pay attention to this shit. You know what I'm saying? I don't know how I got in the group, but when I started looking at what's going on in this group, I'm like, man, what the fuck? Like, people are really on here. They really on here uh, talking this reckless shit, man. Especially this racist shit. They, they talking real heavy. Real heavy. And it ain't just white, man. You got these white Hispanics. You got these you got these people who, who claim to be another ethnicity when they're really, you know what I'm saying, black or brown, whatever you want to call it. They getting on here and they getting and they talking mad crazy on this on this group. Talk crazy USA, man. That's the name of the you see that pop up on your timeline, you know what I'm saying? They doing this shit on purpose. You understand what I'm saying? So, with that said, man, I ain't even about to be, I don't even want to be on here no more, really. You know what I'm saying? I just wanted to address this, man. This Camila Harris, man, this shit is it's getting too, they keep putting her on these platforms and they keep putting her on these talk shows and you got Negroes like Cory Booker, man. This nigga is, this nigga is, look, bro, I don't even know why they even got this nigga. I don't even know why this dude even say he gonna run for presidency. He is a joke, a complete joke. He up here talking about this blackface shit, and he talking about, well, how do how do white people feel about blackface? Man, are you serious, nigga? They love it, nigga. They love it, nigga. That's how they feel. White people feel great about blackface, my nigga. They can't stop doing it. They can't stop, and it's like, man, Black History Month, and they coming with Blackface Month. <laughs> <laughs> this is Black History Month, and they dropping all this blackface shit. You know what I'm saying? They dropping all this blackface shit. You know what I'm saying? Pay attention to shit out here, man. You know what I'm saying? Be on, be on, the, be on the right side of righteousness, man. But you know what I mean? That's all I got right now, man. Hey, check me out, man. Hit the wave button. I'm gonna hit the wave button on y'all, but hit the like button, man. Share this. You understand what I'm saying? <clears throat> you check me out, comedianjscott.com. Or hit me up on my, my hashtag, which will get you to all the things I got going on. Hashtag is W-T-F-U-R-P-R-O-B-L-E-M-B. What the fuck is your problem, B? Right, she was listening to Tupac and Biggie while smoking weed, right, while she was in college, though. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> now, like I said... Um, allegedly she graduated in high, uh, college in 87. So she must've been going to get her master's degree or, or whatever she, her, her, um, extension of education around that time. So you graduated in 97. So, I mean, this shit with Pac and Big was like in what, 94, 95? That America's Most Wanted song came out in the late, damn near before Pac died, like 95, 96. So what you, you was getting your, your master's degree while you was blowing? This wasn't just some college party frat shit, sorority shit. Nah, man. And then listen, man, listen. You can go back. Man, there's a there's a, there's a uh, show that Tariq Nasheed did, man. And he basically played a clip that ha they have of her, and they're asking her these random ass questions. And she was saying about um her favorite one of her favorite groups was a tribe called Quest, and she was like, "What's up, Fife?" Nigga, Five Dog been dead for like two, three years. She said one of her favorite groups was Salt and Peppers. Not Salt and Pepper. Salt and Peppers. Come on, nigga. Like they trying real hard to prop this woman up, man. 
This woman has no connection with us at all. Like I said, she's not even claiming to be an African American or a black person. She's doing all this, um, all this other ethnicity claim shit. Just oh, I'm Indian and Jamaican, nigga. No, when you get pulled over, nigga, they gonna see that you black. Her track record is trash. She put a lot of black people, black women, in jail for truancy and of, of students skipping high school. You understand what I'm saying? There's no black woman out here that 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 should be able to say, I relate to this woman because you're not going to be able to. You understand what I'm saying? She got her, oh shit, she got her, you know what I'm saying? She got her little white zaddy. You know what I'm saying? She's out here, she's out here, man. I don't even know, like I said, I don't even think she has any kids by this person. But man, stop with the pandering. We ain't falling for that shit right now, B. We ain't going for it. That's all, man. That's all I got, man. Hit me up, though, man. Y'all be cautious out here. What up, sis? Somebody is female. Time to identify with us. That's, yeah, that's facts. That's facts right there, man. I don't like that shit. That's facts. But, yeah, man, y'all hit me up, man. Um, I just want to drop that little shit right quick. Yeah, I'm out, man. Peace.